yesterday what we have is uh, the latest uh, BRT version of the bus uh, that we did for uh, the city of Austin for Capital Metro. And uh, they are introducing their uh, a new BRT system uh, in, uh, later on this year. What we had there was a bus that has a lot of new features or actually uh, BRT unique features uh, such as uh, um, devices that allow the, uh, the, the traffic lights uh, to change to give the bus priority over the dedicated lanes. Uh, we have passenger counters, we have all the, the, the amenities that you would like to have on, uh, on a BRT bus. Uh, one of the elements also is uh, that bus has three wide doors and uh, Capital Metro has it set up so that uh, you can have uh, onboarding and offboarding uh, from all three doors. And that will accelerate also the service, uh, so that's, uh, that's an interesting feature. Some of the elements also that we worked on, as we add more and more components on, on buses, then the weight goes up. And uh, we have to try to control that weight in some way uh, to minimize fuel consumption, because that is an important aspect of uh, utilizing a bus. Uh, therefore, what we have is uh, uh, we have a composite floor on the bus that uh, takes some weight off uh, to be able to add new features. Uh, we've removed all the copper piping uh, in the buses also and re re replaced them with uh, plastic piping, which is lighter, more durable, uh, more uh, uh, reliable also in terms of uh, reliability, not having leaks and so on. And we have uh, one of the, the newest features is uh, a third generation of electric cooling system that significantly reduces uh, fuel consumption. And uh, since it's uh, connected to our electronic system on the bus, uh, then we can optimize the use of the fans uh, to cool uh, the engine and transmission. And uh, that actually allows us to, to have savings well in excess of 10% uh, in, in the fuel consumption. Um, also, uh, the fact that we are the integrator and we are the developer of that system means that the system has been tested with all the variants of the powertrains that we have on the bus. So whether it's a diesel bus, a hybrid bus, uh, a series or parallel hybrid, then all the variants have been qualified uh, with that and therefore the, the customer that gets those buses is ensured to have something that works well that will cool in any condition, and that is, again, very reliable. Some of the comments uh, that we heard regularly was how spacious the bus was and uh, how, much, uh, uh, how easy it was to get on and off board. Uh, we got some good comments also about the, the fact that uh, for, uh, in terms of uh, wheelchair mobility, it's, uh, it's, it's very easy to maneuver through the front entrance. Uh, the looks of the bus got, uh, got some good comments. Uh, of course, uh, Capital Metro made all the decisions in terms of colors, and uh, that, uh, that made it a, a success also. So we're very happy to have had that collaboration with uh, Capital Metro that allowed us to, 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 to bring this, uh, this vehicle on, and hopefully we'll see it running in Austin uh, very, very soon. We're the fastest growing com company in the US uh, these days, uh, and uh, that is something that we're pr very proud of. Uh, also, in terms of articulated buses, uh, uh, we are really the market leader. We have close to 60% market share in everything that is being sold uh, in North America these days. So that's a positive aspect also. And again, being part of the Volvo Group, uh, we love the fact that we continue uh, the expertise of, uh, of Volvo of, uh, being involved in BRT systems around the world. Uh, Volvo Group is involved in 80% of uh, the worldwide BRT systems. And that gives us some, uh, some, some good background uh, that we can use. And of course, we have a large group in, uh, in North America. Uh, Volvo employs about uh, a bit over 12,000 employees uh, throughout the country. So we are a large employer in, uh, in the United States. And uh, we're here in Indiana. We, uh, we also have uh, a number of suppliers that are based in Indiana here. And we, we basically spend tens of millions of dollars in, uh, in the States. Uh, so it's, uh, it's always interesting to be able to show that the bus industry is actually contributing to the, uh, the economy.